Right, welcome to tonight's dose of Fight Night Champion. We are fighting at middleweight tonight. It is a fight between my custom Lloyd Hunnigan, my homemade Lloyd Hunnigan, and this guy's custom Chip Jackson. Now, as you can see, he didn't have any record whatsoever, so I really don't know what to expect with this guy. So I'm going to play it by here. But yeah, I made this uh, custom Lloyd Unigan because I'm a, I was a real fan. If, for those people that don't know, Lloyd Unigan was a uh, British welterweight world champion who shot the world by beating a man who, at the time, was thought to be indestructible, Don Kerry. Right and Lloyd Hunnigan went across to America and actually beat him, shot the world. Boom! And I've just shot Chip Summers. Yeah, I could see I landed a couple of really strong right hands there and I did throw a little naughty headbutt in there because I knew it would take a lot of damage uh, off him. And he, he didn't actually move back, he sort of continued to move forward, so I thought, well, he's took two or three shots ahead, but another shot, he'll, he'll go, and he did. So that shows a little bit of an experience on his part, because he should have really backed away then. And he's walking onto some shots. Good return fire that time. Jackson's work in training camp is now so yeah, as, as I was saying, uh, the Lloyd Hunnigan was a British welterweight champion of the world. He got beat off a guy who was his nemesis at the time, a guy called Marlon Stalin. And that fight is on YouTube if you want to check it out. It's actually a good fight. It hurts me or pains me to watch it because I, I wanted Lloyd to win. And uh, Marlon Stalin out outclassed him in that fight. He was such an aggressive fighter, Lloyd. I loved watching him. There was one fight he, <laughs> I think, it was against a guy called Johnny Bumpus, and it, I think it was his first or second title defense. And the bell went, and Johnny Bumpus had me. <laughs> <laughs> Johnny Bumpus hadn't right. even got off his stove. And Lloyd Hunnigan ran across the ring just as the bell went and punched him off his stove. So, yeah, you got to take your hat off to Lloyd. He was an aggressive, exciting fighter. Probably the most exciting British fighter. Up until Nigel Benn, I think, took the mantle. Obviously has to get the athlete, in this case athlete happens to be over a thousand pounds. So yeah, I'm using Lloyd and, and I've made this guy to be like the real Lloyd Hunnigan, the aggressive, strong, he, he was a, a powerful puncher for a welterweight, a lot stronger than a lot of his opposition. He had boxing skills too, but uh, when he got beat off Stalin he was exposed and he went on to lose uh, another match against Mark Breland who was again an up and coming sort of wannabe legend uh, is and Mark Breland destroyed Lloyd Hunnigan I think in three rounds he destroyed him but he, he did fight a fear in Lloyd Hunnigan and if you watch that fight again I think that's floating around on YouTube somewhere and if you watch that fight you will you will see that Lloyd he, he just didn't have any legs and then gave the right hand. It looked like he was finished. Which is a real shame because, you know, if that fight had took place maybe two years earlier, that would have been a cracker. Mark Bailey, no, didn't it? So, yeah, I've made this guy. He's aggressive. He's strong. He's got some good head punches. Which he's just demonstrated there. I think with two power streets straight through the guy's there. He's got some nifty little combos, this guy, mate. It's not. A, it's, I wouldn't say it's an easy fight. I know he's been down already, but this combos. They're nifty. He's like jab to the body, right to the edge, hook to the body, right to the edge. Sound defense, good so I'm going to try and slow him down with those uppercuts to the body. Maybe switch the hooks. He missed a couple of uh, uppercuts there. Right, interesting round. So I won the first one big with a knockdown. Second one, a little bit tighter, but I think I stole that one as well. 
Number three Even though short flushes of skill with uh, some quite nifty little combo. Well, he's using the Philly Shell. As I've said in previous videos, what gets through the Philly Shell is the left hook right hand. And the competent players know this, so what they'll do is, if you throw that left hook, they will move their head straight away. And the right hand will miss and it'll leave you open for a counter. But uh, if you do it fast enough and you don't make it obvious and you're sort of uh, a little bit random with it, that left hook right hand devastates the old uh, Philly Show defence. He's dancing a bit now and he. It was a nice little right hook by him. A nice little left hook by him. Another left hook. Right, I'm pump up a bit now. Reaching the now for those of you that uh, don't play a lot of fight night, the key is to let them throw a few shots like each one there, and as soon as he's missed, his stamina bar drops. I know I don't play with my stamina bar on, I like the, I like the feel, it's a real fight, to me it's more exciting if the stamina bars aren't on. But a lot of players do uh, play with their stamina bars on, and it will drop as their throwing punches. So the key is to get them to miss, and then you sort of steam in there, and you land those shots while their stamina bars are up there. So they're taking a bit of damage. So he's missed two there, and I caught him with a right uppercut and a right body shot. So I'm winning. Again, I'm winning this round, I think. He's, uh, he's, he's got some fight in him though, this guy. He's got combos, he's got some skills. He might not have won a round yet, but he's certainly putting a fight up with his combos. And that's the end of round three. Another interesting round. Certainly enjoying this fight. You won't see the, uh, see the first right? round I thought it was going to be like a walk on the park, but it certainly so isn't a walk on the park, even though I'm three rounds up, or four rounds up, if you can the I don't I actually feel totally safe off, I feel this guy could pull something out of the bag, he's definitely got some skills on him. I want to put a chicken in there as he came in. Now switch to that straight cold straight of the body. Oh, he walked on a nice little right hand there. Right. That is boxing 101. A nice crisp combination by Ferocious. Ferocious is doing yeah, a Lloyd really nice job here. Yeah, Lloyd Hunnigan's nickname was the Ragga Muffin Man. This is what Not you're quite sure why, like but he, he was a nice little nickname for him because he was a bit of a ragamuffin. He was in there you know, and he was pounding them and he was a bit of a rascal. So I've got Ragga written on the back of his shirt. And if this guy goes down, I'm sure we will see Ragga flash across our screen. So, lovely combo to the body. I'm certainly landing more than him, so I'm definitely stealing the rounds. But he is putting up the fight. He's flicking that jab out. So he flicks the jab, then it's like right straight to the body, and then it's jab to the head. So it's a little three punch combo. Takes one to give one, he comes back with a right hand. Targeting that midsection now with the combo. Quite quick. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. Ten seconds to go in the fourth. Yeah, so if that sort of right straight he's throwing misses, he's then throwing that left jab over the top. <coughs> As 
as another round gets underway, it gets us thinking how much more of this will we see. Yeah, it seems, it seems quite Hard quick. Um, going with how lopsided I always tend to try and slow sender, he sort of defensive finish out quick fighters down with those body Teddy, shots. What would you recommend based on what we're seeing? Do you only think we're doing it? And then go, oh no, actually, and then if their stamina is obviously worse than yours in the later rounds, every time you land, the they're That's taking a lot more damage than you are. Boy, sharp two punch combination by Ferocious. He's uh, being in, in his side so right He's definitely got some skills on him. Lovely combo again, very nifty little combo. Right to the body, jab to the edge. Right to the body, jab to the edge. Every now and then when I do throw a bat, he pounds me with a, a right hook to the body. But he's still working on the shots, so he's, it, it's costing him to be aggressive. He's not getting away with a step point. A target on his head and he places the hook right on it. Oh, oh, oh. he fell for the left hook right on and again. And he's tried to retaliate with a chicken wing, but he fell for two left hook right on there. Scored well to the oh, is he again. banging me? Oh, and he comes back with an uppercut there after getting hit. Oh, he's, yeah, he's trying to use his speed now. And he, he's right back at him with a left quick, hand. Quick combos. Right to the Looking head with right that hand. Right. Avic, Avic, so. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. There's the combo downstairs. Yeah, I did check out uh, to see where he was from, this guy. And he, is now serving he's him from well. the gym, nice European soldiers. Uh, any guys on Xbox who will play the game a lot will, will know stone. that. No European soldiers gym, he ain't a slouchy gym. It's actually not bad, there's some you know, pretty decent players in there and every time I fight someone from uh, European soldiers, they always give me a, a half decent fight or a decent matchup. So yeah, shout out to you boys at European soldiers. Keep it up, you're just not good enough to beat Lock Grits, Lloyd Hunnigan. Feints is really the Achilles heel. To timing. I mean, you, you round six, I, I, I think I've, I've him, won every round, and I think and he's starting to fear the beat. You've got to keep your eye on your opponent's punches to see if they start to slow. Off the target by hands of stone. Right it's back like downstairs. early in the fight, if you fix out a jab, you can see it's like really stiff and quick. And as soon as fatigue sets in, the uh, jab becomes almost like lazy. And you can just see it in the movement that's starting to get a bit tired and I haven't seen it yet but I'm sure Wash right hand to the head. I'm sure he is on his way to becoming very fatigued. He with that, that was a nice little combo there that he worked on to. But he's still banging away at the uh at the ferocious the is the kind of boxer that wants to do just that. that. Find the target. Get the combination working, land both punches. Oh, lovely chicken win there. Hands of stones putting Still his punches together. Now. This is That's a, a nice a fight I really enjoy. Because I'm throwing combos and I'm trying to sim box and he's throwing combos and trying to sim box. Uh, so I'm having so, to you know, outthink him, I'm, I'm having to outbox him and these are the matches I, I really, really enjoy. In the kitchen, yeah, in the kitchen and that's exactly what his opponent's given him. He's given him that kitchen. He took some damage, he took some real damage there man, that was a 4-5 punch combo. That's a good left, left hand over by the top there, missed badly. Nice that, that jab, nice that jab, it's fatigued, that's what I mean, if you can see the movement, he's looking tired now, that he flicked the jab out and it was his shoulder drop. Boom, boom. Man, those body shots being tired. Oh, that's it! Yeah, I could see, oh, I could see that by his lazy he jab, but he was, the round, but he he was really down. fatigued. Uh, the bell couldn't ring soon enough for him, and uh, that overcut of the body devastated him. Left him open for a couple of headshots, and down he goes. So yeah, really enjoying this fight. Really enjoying it. 
but still a lot of work to do. Yeah, a lot of work because he doesn't have the benefit of his legs. Can't move around there wobbly right now. So what? Here we go. He's going to go around seven. In front of him, but I don't know Two knockdowns. I think they've won numerous times tonight, including that last more round. More to the rounds. He's played heavily. Leaning in my favor, I think. Very unlikely. It would be spectacular. Tried a little push gear there. Didn't get away with it. Now he's throwing the chicken wing himself. Good defense little upstairs to stay away there. from that offensive assault. Good job on the two-punch combo by Ferocious. So I've managed to conserve my stamina yeah, though, and I think right his stamina is heading towards empty, I think. The he needs in these what is the answer? Well, when a guy's not coming in and walking in, you can't counter punch him. Oof! Left hook, right hand. Well, that's how you're... Oof! Two left hooks and down he goes. That was a lovely combo. He's down again. But his desired heart is just as lucky, strong we'll as it get was before. His nickname, the Ragaman. On the back of his shorts there, we didn't see it that time. No, One, never mind. Two, three, but yeah, Danny goes, four, and now he's getting up, five, and this guy has got six. fucking heart. He's got heart. Jackson's getting back up to his feet after being knocked down. And he's still coming forward, which I, I do find that surprising because, you know, I, I'm landing powerful right shots here. Well. And he's obviously, you know, he's obviously tired. And he's still coming forward. Took a go of it to the body, but came up empty. He's showing what a skilled fighter he is with this count. Right on over the top. Well, something's got to stick. He sends the combination to the body. Good shot to the head with that right hand. Try the other side, but his timing is just slightly off. He's definitely got all the skills, it's just his timing slightly off. Tired. Tired. But then again, I think I tired myself, eh? Yeah, and he has to understand why. He's not controlling distance. He's standing too close in front. Needs to adjust a little further out. Yeah, I always think middleweight is a tighter game than heavyweight because one punch can, can end the fight in heavyweight. But I kind of middleweight too, but it's easier uh, with heavyweight to land than digging. You've got to be a little bit more skilled uh, at middleweight. Just, just, just keep it up. Just keep it up. That's it now, alright? Teddy scorecard through wow. seven. How Heavy else round. could you have it? Ferocious is wow. up big. He has scored not So really in theory, in I could just control. sit flicking the jab out now and you know, box on the back foot and stay level round and win quite easily. But he's so tired I, I really want to knock him from that motion. It would be a nice way to end the competitive match. Oh, and a two punch combo by He's got TQ written on his shorts. And that would be a nice way to finish the fight on this TQ. Boom, there's a couple of cuts of the body are hurting him now. A well placed Ooh. gutsy uppercut after being tagged. Yeah, nice to play from that one. Boom. Did you <laughs> down he goes. I just try to get up. There we see, we see the ragger on his shorts. There's the ragger man. Uh, yeah. He, if he gets up this time, I'll, I'll be well impressed. I'm used to seeing the old uh, thing flash up where it says you've lost connection to your opponent <laughs> when the guys quit out. Oh wow, he's got up. Wow, so this is a fighter, man. Becomes, he's got combo, he's, he's competent, he and he's got he hard. So this way, and he's a lot better than getting up than I am. I sometimes struggle with the third one. And I always struggle with the fourth one. Some people make it look easy, but I don't think it is easy to get up the fourth time. Especially if you're fatigued. Like Unable to score with the uppercut that time. 
Ferocious is showing us a great display of one of the best elements of defense, Teddy. And that is your ability to make your man miss by moving your head. Here. And now what his opponent has to do is he has to understand, hopefully he's been taught this, that yeah, the head moves, but the body doesn't. The body is facing the front body. Right now his opponent should not be going to that head. He should be going downstairs. Oof. He Oof. gives as well as he takes. You saw it on that exchange. Exchange and big shot. He's walked on a big right hand. It's going to see. We're, we're exchanging some shots big there. Shot and down he goes. How is he going to survive this? Surely. Again, he ain't going to go. Again. have to find a way. Boom. Bosh. Bosh. <laughs> <laughs> It would take a Viagra to get him up this time. <laughs> no, he's out for the count. Good fight, though. And this round, the ref stops the fight. Jackson's unable to get up and continue on. So he's got TQO written on his shorts and he's going to take you off. And there's the red on the mind now, running in over his hands in the air precariously. Another win. I'm not sure what that is now, but it's 11 more now. 10 more and 11 more. One guy that beat me earlier, uh, beat me on point. He had 279 wins. 31 losses. 279 many wins, 31 losses. He beat me on point. Uh, my only loss. The only guy there. To get one over on now, get plenty of all right, well, I'll see you soon for turning in. And we had a little look to see uh, where he was from, as I say, and he's from North Yenzu. So, hope you enjoyed your dose of the uh, Fight Night Champion. Thanks for tuning in tonight, and um, we might go back to heavyweight tomorrow. We'll see. All right, bye for now.